honored as an ultrasound expert to be able to follow the shoes of Ian Donald, a legacy that he has left behind, both as an inventor of ultrasound, but also for his strong morals. He's an amazing man, and I hope that we as a society can finish the work that this man has started. My dear Rosemary, how good of you to remember me and to write. I do not know how you know of my very inadequate pro-life activities. They certainly do not deserve any sort of recognition. Nevertheless, my efforts nearly two years ago to help the Italian doctors in their fight to avoid being forced by the government to carry out abortions on any woman asking for it up to 90 days without any reason whatsoever resulted in me showing one of my ultrasonic films of fetal movement in a baby just 12 weeks after conception to a very large meeting in Milan. The communists were furious and we had an armed police escort. Next day I was flown up to Rome and the hand that will presently sign this letter was cordially shaken by none other than Pope John Paul II, who spoke excellent English and thanked me for coming. The film had been picked up the night before by both main channels of Italian television and is said to have reached an audience of between 15 and 20 million. In all my failures to reverse the present rot, I can only claim to have killed a lie put out by the abortionists that fetal life is no more than something like a bit of jelly and of no consequences. Since then, I have made more such films and although I am 70 years old today, I am still being asked to lecture all over the world 